Hey Sagittarius, this is Soul. And Sagittarius, this is your bi-weekly messages uh, beginning September 3rd and ending September 16, 2018. The messages will be for Sagittarius uh, Moon and Sagittarius Rising. All right, Sagittarius, I hope all is well. Uh, once again, I wanted to uh, wish you all a very happy and safe Labor Day holiday. Uh, okay, with that being said, let's get right into your messages. This is a new month, new uh, deck that I'm using. I'm using the... Um, New Era Elements Tarot uh, in black and white version and the artist um, Eleanor F. Piper, Ph.D. She's done a wonderful job in uh, creating these images. And like I said in previous videos and using these cards, I don't necessarily look at the textbook uh, because she's named uh, things differently. Uh, but it's still based on the uh, traditional, uh, you know, right or weight tarot. Um, but I like to use. Uh, my own intuitive uh, senses when I look at the cards and the images uh, and, and get a feel what I feel what the interpretation is instead of going by what the uh, person has written in the uh, you know the textbook okay or the little white book so so far the messages have been very very positive and um, in terms of looking at your energy here, Sagittarius, you're no different. I have shuffled these cards up very well, and, and you know, there are reversals here. And as a matter of fact, you have two reversals. You have the, uh, and they're major arcana, the Hierophant. I'm sorry, it's the uh, Hangman and the uh, Strength card. Now, the Strength card is a major arcana that's in the um, reverse position. This is your overall energy for the two week period of time. And what I had picked up with this Strength card. And like I said before, I pick up different things when the, the images. Let me just show you in the upright position in contrast. Normally, the, um, you know, major arcana, the strength card, and the difference here is that this is number 11. And normally, it's number 8 in the uh, regular tarot decks. So that's why, you know, I say different artists uh, do different things. And um, it's the reason why I like to use different decks um, because this, you know, Things, you know, certain things come to me or I might get a feel of certain things by looking at the images. And what I picked up with this uh, strength card in the reverse for um, Scorpio, because I, I believe it was in Scorpio's reading. Uh, there is uh, there, uh, there's a cub, number one, and this is a lion, could be a lioness. And actually, this could be the male lion and he's with his cub because normally the... Uh, lioness doesn't really have all that that mane that mane that that hair so i feel this is a male it could be male or female it doesn't really matter but this is your energy um it representing leo for sure but then your energy too uh sagittarius and aries as well but what i picked up with this is that the strength card in the upright position is usually you know uh courage uh strength fortitude you know a lot of stuff um, you know, anything that comes your way, you have the strength and the power to overcome and achieve, uh, removing any blocks or obstacles. With this cub here on this uh, picture in the reverse, uh, whether it's with the uh, his mother or his father, there's a fear. You know, there's a fear of, and I felt that there was a fear in Scorpio's reading, and I'm picking up the same thing here. Someone is a, in a fear of losing someone. Um this I picked up like, you know, this could be a child. This is a general reading. OK, this could be a fear or losing a child or, you know, a partnership or, you know, something going on with the family. Um, either fear, losing grip on someone that's, you know, close to them or important to them, but whatever uh it is that i'm picking up and i'm reading for you know a sagittarius or two you know you guys always welcome your comments and whatnot just let me know um because i'm feeling certain things now because the four of cups and this is the card of comfort that she has named uh is the card of social uh, invitations invites and stuff like that but it also too represents children for me so i don't know if there's a fear of uh, you know someone losing uh, you know, when I say losing, I don't mean to throw in any, you know, scare or anything like that. Someone is losing grip on possibly a, it could be a child, whatever that situation is, could be a romantic partnership since the cups represent romance, could be a friendship, 
could be something going on in the family. Now, that doesn't necessarily uh, always have to be uh, related to anything negative. OK. All right. Somebody's just um, I'm picking up someone is just fearful of losing someone close to them. All right. That's what I'm getting. Four of Cups is still a happy card. Good emotions and social invitations. So, uh, again, you know, children could be involved. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female energies in terms of, uh, you know, if it is a true water sign, someone fearing or giving up, a, you know, giving up on um not giving up on, but fearing the loss of someone close to them that may be a true water sign. Also, too, this could be a completion since it shows up as your overall energy is in the reverse, a completion of something that you may have had to be strong for in the past. Now, tie that into anything that, you know, that was going on in your life in the, the last two week period of time. OK, family member, romantic partnership, friendship, whatever you had the strength. The strength came in, gave you the strength for courage to do whatever you needed to do. All right. So what's following this uh, four of cups energy is the um, knowledge card, which is the six of I think it's the six of swords. And now this uh, artist depicted uh, some sort of, uh, you know, spaceship. But that's OK. That was her, you know, what she was thinking and what she was feeling. So this is a spaceship. But I also with the six of swords energy, I relate to this could be just, um, you know, free floating energy. Since the uh, you're out there in space and in the ship, free floating. Um, finally, you know, removing yourself or leaving some sort of uh, turbulent times behind you. And this is a card of passage and uh, movement. And also, too, um, ending of some sort of conflict, possibly, that you may have been dealing with. Now, I always talk in the past tense. This is projected in the two week period of time. So it could be something that happened or, you know, currently happening, but it's, you know, things to come. All right. Keep that in mind. Then the Hierophant, which is a major arcana, follows the uh, Six of Swords card. And this is in the upright position. And this is a picture of uh, Dalai Lama. <laughs> so I like this energy. So, of course, this is keep the faith, keep hope alive. This is higher education, you know, things to be learned, things to be taught. Uh, the Hierophant represents... Um, Taurus, but it could also represent the other Earth energies, uh, Capricorn and Virgo, male or female. OK, someone could be, you know, um, going through some sort of spiritual enlightenment or uh, developing their spirituality this uh, two week period of time. And that's not a bad thing. Uh, if you are, you know, digging into it, this could be reading of materials of spirituality or could be have anything associated with now i say spirituality but this also could be religion you know whatever your religion is and you know spirituality okay so there's a increase or a gain or some sort of knowledge um it could be just a you know a spiritual enlightenment uh type of energy for you for this two-week period of time maybe something happens and it involves some sort of uh, spiritual enlightenment all right so the magician or, or the magus shows up in the upright position and this is the major arcana so you got one two three you got four major arcanas and a, a eight yeah eight card spread and of course she's done her own thing in terms of this uh maggots so so far i see on this card uh, for sale, property for sale. Let me just rule out the other stuff first. There's always two sides of this magician that I always pick up, okay? A negative and a positive. On the positive side, you have all the elements, all those things that you need to get or manifest the things that you want to bring into your life, okay? The magus is the number one, so it's the start of something new. So some of you might be looking uh, for a new adventure. Some of you might be fearful of the start of something new and it's related to an adventure. It may not be related to an adventure, but underneath that strength card, that's in the reverse. That's the fear of starting something new. Could be a project, could be a new relationship, could be a new job or whatever the energy is for you. That's the positive side. So on here, she has uh, a for sale property sign. She has, um, it looks like water bottles at the feet looks like the um some sort of graph i don't know if that's the you know if it could represent the dow 
She has Botox, a needle. Of course, the infinity sign is over top and Pfizer for whatever reason why she uh, listed the drug pharmaceutical Pfizer. Then she has Facebook. Then she has Fox News, CNN News. So remember the, the magician on the negative side could be that uh, maybe she has it on there because she's you know saying something about do a check on uh, things that you hear in terms of uh, falsity because that's the magician. He's all about being false. So whether you're an avid Fox News um, viewer or you know an avid CNN viewer, it's up to you and you know you take responsibility for the things that you hear only to validate and clarify and not just taking, um, those things that you hear solely from those, uh, from those, you know, correspondence there. That's what I'm getting. I can't make out this other thing that she has in there. It looks like a T. I don't know if that's, uh, I don't know what that is, but she has CNN, Facebook, and Fox. These are these are energies of news carriers, broadcasters and stuff like that. So they reach a lot of people, a lot of viewers. So but the magician could be just to put, you know, make sure that you pay attention to uh, hearing things that are false, whether it's coming from those energies that I had just mentioned and just validate. You know, there's this is the reason why we have these search engines like Google and, and whatever your search engines are, you know, to check out these uh, you know, things that you hear because every damn thing is not fake. Okay. It's actual news, but then you'll take actual news. Some people will take actual news and say it's fake just for their own agenda. So I don't want to spend too much time on that. The magician, uh, could be someone who places a mask on false. You know, this person could be, um, you know, involved with you could be a friend could be a, a romantic partnership could be a family member could also be a co-worker but they're trying to get something from you all right they're you know on a negative aspect they are sociopathic narcissistic they lack empathy they don't have any feelings they don't care what they do uh to get whatever it is that they're trying to get from you it's all about them will always be about them and nothing more so if you come across this type of energy you have to stay away from them or vacate the premises as soon as possible because they will bring you down emotionally and drain the fucking hell out of you okay you heard it here not that you heard it first, but you heard it here. They will drain the hell out. Maybe that's why the water bottles are at this man's feet. I don't know. Anyway, that's the magician. Hangman coming out of a valuating period or, you know, ready to forge ahead and um, some sort of uh, need. Now, that could be anything. That could be a project. That could be whatever it is for you. OK, just to show you the conjure. This is the upright uh, position of the hangman and then you reverse okay now you're ready to come and move forward and if it was related to a child or a relationship it's underneath the four of cups all right but you're coming out of that phase or evaluating period now the six of i'm sorry the seven of wands i want to make sure yeah bravery this is bravery. This is the seven of wands. So she has here two fire. It looks like two firemen. And they might be battling a blaze or a fire or something like that. And this is a card of, you know, opposite of the strength card, brave, being brave. OK, going by what is on the card, but it's the seven of wands. It also could be, uh, you know, internal or external battles and struggles. I don't always like to use that, but it could just simply be uh, just having a lot of things to do uh, in terms of multitasking and, um, you know, being brave and, and, and you know, fulfilling the, 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 you know, all the tasks that you may have. So that's one way of looking at it. I don't always see the friction uh, with the seven of wands. It could be just, you know, energy because it's representing your energy and that energy of uh, Aries and Leo, male or female. All right. So the last card that I have for you. OK, it's another uh, part of your energy. It's the victory card, victory and success. This is the six of wands now. And 
I'm not sure exactly who this um, image is, but it looks like someone who is wrong, somebody from the past in Olympic sports. So I'm gonna have to look at the book to uh, see who, exactly who this is. But this is victory and success. So even after it's all said and done in this two week period of time, this is a card of traveling for me and as well as the uh, Six of uh, Swords, traveling, um, moving out of some sort of turbulent or conflicting energy or times. And then uh, then you achieve some sort of victory and success at the tail end of the two week period of time. I'm just picking up that whatever it is that you're fearful of in terms of moving forward, it may not be uh, related in uh, trying to uh, protect someone. Uh, I said that there was someone who was in fear of losing someone, but there's uh, someone who also could be protecting someone too strongly. And, you know, uh, my advice is to loosen up that grip on that person, to let them uh, do what they have to do, you know, because we are all here, um, you know, living our life individually. And there's um, lessons that we have to learn. So you can't, you know, support and hold people up and try to protect them forever. No, they have to um, go out there. You know, it's like the bird being flown out of the nest and, you know, you know, the newborn bird being flown out of the nest because it's time for you to fly. You know, m mother can't keep carrying you. All right. So either you're going to fly on your own or if you're not going to spread those wings, then your ass is going to die. OK, so that's a little bit, you know, blunt on my part, but it's it's true. It's true. So whoever it is that um, you're trying to, I wouldn't necessarily say strong arm, but uh, having a fear of trying to protect too tightly, just loosen up a little bit. OK, there's victory and success here. Um, and there's still love surrounding you. And supporting you with the Four of Cups, the card of comfort. All right. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Now, on to the Rebel deck for the, um, let me do the singles. Single Sagittarians, the message for you is uh, <laughs> you look like a shit show. It says here on the back, you're a hot mess, fat. Clean yourself up. Now, that's for anybody who looks like a shit show. For the uh, Sagittarian couples, this one here says, do the damn dishes. Soaking is not fucking washing. I think this come up before, but that's funny as hell. All right, so that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope the uh, messages or the reading uh, bodes well with you. Uh, please let me know. Always appreciate the comments and, you know, negative comments. I welcome those too, but if you're attacking me and the... Um, comments are too negative your ass is getting deleted all right so anyway happy labor day please be safe sagittarius until i talk to you again take care bye